Hello grade twos, I hope that you are well. Today Miss Foley is going to continue with her money problem solving lesson with you. So I hope you have a nice sharp pencil and you have got your mathematics workbook in front of you. You've written the date and the heading which should be money problem solving, just like it's written on my screen. Right, we're just going to go over a few things verbally and then I will tell you when we are going to start writing. So, on the left hand side of your screen, you can see there are three silver coins. We've got a five rand coin, a one rand coin and a two rand coin. Then on the right hand side of your screen, we've got a 20 cent coin, a 50 cent coin, a five cent coin and a 10 cent coin. Then we have our notes, our money value notes. We've got a 10 rand note, which is green in color, a 20 rand note, which is brown, a 50 rand note, which is pink, a 100 rand note, which is blue, and a 200 rand note, which is orange. Right, can you solve this problem? So now I need you to pick up your pencil and we are going to do our first problem solving sum together. So our sum says, Lenita bought a ball and a teddy bear from the toy shop. How much did she spend all together? So we need to first see how much is a ball. A ball is 15 Rand and a teddy bear is 50 Rand. So because the teddy bear costs more, I'm going to put that value down first. So I'm going to say 50 Rand plus 15 Rand. This is how I would like you to set out your answers for the rest of this activity. So we're going to put 50 Rand for the teddy bear plus 15 Rand for the ball. Equals. Then to work it out, we're going to say 50, which is the teddy bear's amount and the 10 Rand from the ball. So we're going to work with those two notes first. 50 Rand note and a 10 Rand note will give us 60 Rand. Then we need to bring down the 5 Rand from the ball. So we're going to say 60 Rand plus 5 Rand which was left over and get 65 Rand. Our sentence is Lenita spent 65 Rand all together. Now, for this sum, I would like you to pause the video when I tell you to, and you are going to write this sum just as you did from the previous sum. If you need to go back and double check, you may do so and come back to this sentence. Can you solve this problem? Tapelo bought a toy car and a book from the toy shop. How much did he spend all together? So the toy car is 55 Rand and a book is 25 Rand. So we're going to say 55 Rand plus 25 Rand equals. Then we're going to bring down the 50 Rand and bring down the 20 Rand. So we're going to say 50 Rand plus 20 Rand equals 70 Rand. And 5 Rand plus 5 Rand is 10 Rand. So 70 Rand plus 10 Rand is 80 Rand. Therefore, Tapelo spent 80 Rand all together. Make sure you understand that while we are breaking up each step, it makes it easier for us to understand and add our money values all together. Right, our next one. If you need to pause the video at any stage, please do so and write down your sum and your sum sentence. Number three, can you solve this problem? So now we are in a grocery store buying some food. So, Giselle went shopping. She bought a pizza, a bunch of bananas and milk. How much did she spend altogether? So now we are buying three things. Giselle bought a pizza for 15 Rand, a bunch of bananas for 14 Rand, and a milk for 10 Rand. How much does she spend? 15 Rand plus 14 Rand 
plus 10 rand. Remember, we're going to set it out like this. So, we're going to bring down the 10 rand from the pizza, the 10 rand from the bananas, and the total 10 rand from the milk, which gives us 30 rand. Then we bring the remainder 5 rand from the pizza, and the 4 rand from the bananas, which gives us 9 rand. Then we simply say 30 rand plus 9. 30 plus 9 is 39. So therefore, Giselle spent 39 rand altogether. Please make sure to pause the video before the answer is revealed so that you can try it on your own. Can you solve this problem? Quaid went shopping. He bought two pizzas and a milk. How much did he spend altogether? So he bought two pizzas. So our sum should be 15 rand plus 15 rand plus 10 rand for the milk. So we're going to bring 10 rand down from the pizza, 10 rand down from the next pizza, and the total 10 rand from the milk. 10 plus 10 plus 10, 10, 20, 30, 30 rand. Bring down the 5 rand from the pizza and the 5 rand from the other pizza. 5 plus 5 is 10. 30 rand plus 10 rand is 40 rand. Quaid spent 40 rand all together. Can you match the coins? So, this roll is 50 cents. Can you guess which coin it is? If you pointed to the coin at the bottom of the list, you are correct. The big brown coin with the 50 cent on it is 50 cents. Then the apple says 1 rand. Point to the coin that you think is 1 rand. If you pointed to the top coin, you are correct. Then we have a little block of cheese for 5 rand. Point to the coin that says 5 rand. If you pointed to the second coin, you are correct. And lastly, we have a bag of oranges for 2 rand. Point to the coin that says 2 rand. If you pointed to the third coin, you are correct. Well done, go tos. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you set your answers and your questions out carefully and correctly. And I can't wait to see. Please do send your teachers a picture once you have completed it. And make sure to check your answers and make any corrections that you may need to do so. Remember, it's okay if we make mistakes. Mistakes are proof that we are trying and learning. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.